there guys, this is Robin Hood, and today I am bringing you more of the Poland-Lithuania campaign in Empire Total War. Last time, we uh, fought a battle up here in West Prussia, took back our province that the Prussians stole from us there, although I guess technically it would make sense for it to be theirs, uh, since the name of the place is West Prussia. But anyways, that's, that's back in our hands now, and I am currently laying siege to East Prussia with my army here. Now these guys are a little bit beat up from the fight at West Prussia, but uh, we hopefully should be able to handle the garrison here. Anyways though, also at the end of last episode we noticed Austria moving in with this hefty force here. Uh, heading towards my capital, so I've got my troops here replenishing, and hopefully we will be able to turn them back. But uh, for the moment, still war on all fronts. Hopefully here we'll be able to finish up the war to our north. Still at war with Sweden up there, but they are not much of a threat at the moment. I don't see anything that they can really send to us. First they would, by land, have to go through Russia. And, of course, here comes the Austrians. Are they going to attack me outright? And yes, they are. Well, guys, looks like we are going to get a fight right off the bat, and I forgot the Austrian troops have uh, 150 men in a unit rather than 120. So this should be interesting here. These guys have longer range, these irregulars. But in numbers, we actually have them. So we are going to fight this battle on the map just to make sure that we manage to successfully hold our capital city here of Warsaw. But yeah, Sweden will have to uh, actually travel through Russian lands, who they are at war with, uh, but in order to get to me by land, or they would have to land forces over the sea, which they very well could do. They do have a navy, and I have none at the moment. Uh, hopefully once I take East Prussia, I'll be able to build a port there. I'm not sure if that province has that option available, but I would like to get some forces in the sea. Because um, if we ever manage to handle all of the wars around my area, if I could get over to India, it is an extremely uh, resource-rich area. So having provinces over there could be rather helpful. And it looks like we actually do not get... Uh, to set up barricades, which is interesting since we're defending. But they are going to deploy over here. Well, they could actually deploy anywhere around us, so it's just a matter of picking where I want to fight. And... We're going to assume they deploy right in that area. Ish. So let's see... I don't see anywhere I initially really want to uh, head for. Depending on how they approach, I might be able to set up along this stone wall here, which extends quite a ways. So that could be interesting, but for the moment we will hold as we are. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to put my militia up against the stone wall. We'll keep our pikes in reserve. And let's get all of our actual regular infantry here. And I forgot they do have some fixed artillery. So we'll leave these guys here. Put some cavalry over this way, uh, our main general can remain hanging over here, and that, and we do have artillery as well. And this ridge here looks like as good a position as any to put them on. Um, this is kind of a, a weak maneuver here, but I will guard them with my firelock armed citizenry. We'll actually line those guys up down below them there. Okay. And that should be... Yeah, 
that should be pretty good. And line all these guys up here. Get this artillery firing. Run. Uh, let's get these men. Let's get them over. I'm only actually going to take two of these units. And line them up if it will let me. There. Keep this unit in reserve. And we will hold these guys over this way for the moment. And start bringing this cavalry out this way. Hopefully our artillery can win that duel for the moment. And if I need to engage this cavalry, I should be able to keep our general in the trees where he's maybe a little bit more protected and their long-range troops are now opening fire on us actually you know what we're gonna keep our men close for the moment uh, let's get these guys running around over here bring these cavalry around and let's see what is going on here got a melee charge going on in the center let's go ahead and bring these armed citizenry over to this fight uh, bring up this regiment and engage those pikemen Let's see the Austrian cavalry is losing at the moment bring those guys back around and I think I want to set these guys up on the flank like so yeah we'll definitely leave these guys here Shift those guys over like that. Should be able to just take out that general's bodyguard. And do some rear charges over here. No longer need to protect our, our rear with all of this, so we're going to bring these guys over. And in the center, it seems we have uh, actually lost a, a unit, but I'm not expecting anything ridiculous there out of my men hopefully those men there can win and let's get these regiment of foot actually over into this line infantry that's one artillery unit down this cavalry doing the best it can there and who are those those are my militia let's actually line up these men I'm not gonna pull those militia out of that fight at the moment because if we can we can bring this cavalry over into the backs of those units and what do you know our armed citizenry actually putting up quite a fight I'm gonna let these guys keep firing here for the moment get these pikes over into this fight and all this cavalry is doing well, but that, that looks like that's going to be the end of it. Yeah, these men crashing into the backs here. Our cavalry is going to make short work of that. Okay, so let's get, let's get these guys back on the wall here. Keep our men running. These guys still doing well. Let's uh, let's rush these guys over like so. And I'm trying to keep track of which general's bodyguard is actually available. 
We're going to go ahead and press with these units here. These guys can fire at them. And other than that, where did those pikemen go? Let's send them in. Everyone here is routed. Undo that, bring those guys over. Let's run these guys around. Hopefully he does not get a shot into my cavalry there. That should all be good. Anywhere else we looking at stuff? Those guys came back from routing. We're just gonna rush all these guys in. Yeah, one more one more volley should route them. Okay, so that's that's pretty much that. I'm actually gonna bring this unit over this way to fire into the backs there and we're just gonna line up and uh, finish these guys off and that should be that so solid victory there hopefully our foot unit can outshoot these irregulars here. These guys have cool outfits though. Check that out. They're like the uh, I don't know what those are. Those are weird hoods with buttons on the front of them but yeah those men are about to be put to sleep by a bunch of angry citizens here. And hopefully these guys will get to get off a of volley. There we go. Actually Actually killed a few of them. Generally those uh, citizen units are worthless. And I don't see any Austrians left. That's that. A heroic victory there. Warsaw successfully defended. Brilliant attacking by the AI as always. But anyways, we managed to put those guys down. Only lost 347 men. Uh, did a number on the Austrian force there, so... Yeah, they're going to fall back, and I think it's going to be wise for me to actually give chase. We'll see if anything else happens here, though. Pressure coming over again, trying to steal stuff. I'm going to send my uh, gentleman back to duel with that guy. Hopefully we can get rid of that pesky... Prussian gentleman there. And that should be it for the action this turn, unless the Ottomans decide to uh, join in the action. And I think they've already gone, so we seem safe. There we go. Trait gained. Who is this? Plus one morale in battles. So let's take him... question is, do I actually want to pursue this with more enemy forces nearby? I could easily... We're going to take these units, a cavalry force. We're going to go for it. And it actually says that they have the balance of power. That is ridiculous. How interesting. Well, I am i doubt you guys want to uh, watch me fight this puny battle here. I'm not going to retreat. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut out this fight. And I will be back after this has taken place so you guys don't have to watch me just run down a few units here so we will be back in a second and we are back and uh, yeah I don't know why that battle bar was in any way in Austria's favor because 
I lost 16 men and killed all of them. So, yeah, I don't know, don't know what's up with that. We'll, uh, we'll let that one slide and try to get our men back this way. Hopefully, they can do that. We're gonna heal up the rest of these guys. And let's see, governing. Where is my income next turn? Income's actually decent. See these guys pretty soon here. Uh, this shouldn't be too much of a problem as the resistance to foreign occupation goes down. See if I do that, they're still not going to revolt. And that should bring up our taxes by, yeah, a decent bit there. And here, I uh, don't even have to worry about anything. Yeah, those people will get better with time. We have to hope that Austria just doesn't make a move, or Prussia for that matter, towards them. So now let's try to do away with this pesky gentleman. Hopefully the 50 percent is in our favor and we will watch another one of these silly videos. Is my guy the one with the red? So I think my guy just ran away. Yep. Aw, oh, you coward. <laughs> Those are stupid. Okay. Oh, I have another gentleman. Yeah, why don't Why don't you head over this way? We're gonna see if uh, he can do something where others have not succeeded before him. See that army's healing up. So is my other one. Uh, this town's pretty darn close to the border, but we can repair that one. It only costs. 30 to repair. Let's see what kind of stuff this does for us. I'm fine with spending funds on upgrading things that I know are going to be uh, secure. And look at this. My protectorate helping in this siege. And we probably could storm in and take this place. We will wait one more turn, though. Maybe they will come out and fight us. And uh, there's not that much time left in this episode, so maybe we can get a little bit more management done before opening up the next one with an attack on East Prussia. And that is going to... Yeah, look at this guy. He keeps coming in and trying to steal technologies. Uh, we're going to hit him with two gentlemen, if need be, this next turn. Hopefully finish him off. Austria, of course. Running back behind my lines again, we will do our best to deal with that. And... Ring bayonet finished, okay. So, a few things I see that need to be done. Uh, square formation would be nice, but let's... Let's see, what is this going to do for us? We'll work on some other stuff for the moment. So, Prussian forces here. Uh, they are a threat to this place. So, first off, let's send... Our agent over once again. Please don't fail this time. Oh my god, it's it's the same video. Okay. So that guy is just a failure. We will send this man. Is there a guy like a master duelist or something? Very well might be, but... 50% made me believe that it would not be that.
Oh, hey, we got him. Nice. Okay, thank God. So that, that puts an end to his little trickery there. So... This... Pesky... Little army, we will auto-resolve. And once again, have these guys head back. We will keep them, uh... Keep them replenishing. And I need to defend this territory. So what I think I'm gonna do... Is I'm going to quickly take East Prussia... Or can I get troops into there? Depends on what they have coming towards us. They could, uh... Gather up a multitude of troops. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I'm gonna take East Prussia, put this garrison, uh, into there, because that's an easy... easy move and put these guys in here and then let this army immediately go to uh, West Prussia to defend it. And then from there, we can start thinking about moving out. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed that one. Uh, got a little bit more done, successfully defended Warsaw, and next time we should be able to finish up uh, Prussia to our north at least and then we can start moving into the other Prussian and Austrian territories so once again hope you all enjoyed that any suggestions or anything you guys have for what I do uh, please leave that in the comments I will see you all next time this is Robin Hood signing off